you've just pressed play on the first episode of Dr. Austin Hall, CD. Good evening, citizens of West Chicago, and welcome to the laboratory of West Chicago librarian and full-time cat wrangler, Dr. Austin Hall, CD. Well, what does the CD stand for, you may ask? Go ahead, ask. Ah, thank you. Yes, it stands for Coconut Donuts. Moving along. I'm just mad about CDs, really. As you can see, I have lots of them. And that's why I'm here tonight, taking time out of my busy schedule, checking up on my patients. The CDs in your library's collection. Hmm. Mr. Zappa, it sounds like you have a slip disc. Anyways... Just as Dr. Oz wants you to know about the Tin Man and Toto, I want you to know about the great CDs available to you, the citizens of West Chicago. Okay, enough madness. Now on to my pick for West Chicago CD of the Month, Animals, by the legendary British classic rock group Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd, not to be confused with Pink, or Count Floyd, was and is one of the most popular, beloved, and best-selling bands in history. Their most famous works are Dark Side and 1979's The Wall. And like both of those records, 1977's Animals is a concept album. So what is Animals? Well, after my careful examination, I'm diagnosing Animals as a five-song album showcasing the band's trademark, dramatic, foreboding, and sometimes atmospheric sound. Of those five songs, three are quite long. The album as a whole is a three-part mini-epic, with two short, lovely, and hopeful acoustic songs at the start and at the end. Now, this wasn't the first time the band had put animals front and center on their albums. Here's the cover of 1970's Adam Hart Mother, which is simply a picture of a cow, I proclaim it a lovely enough cow, but nonetheless, it's just a cow. But that's a horse of another color. Animals is a whole different beast. Animals draws obvious inspiration from George Orwell's masterful extended political metaphor, Animal Farm, in which a society of animals forms a government ordered in much the same way. Animals isn't literally about animals, it's about us. Animals is home to some of David Gilmour's most expressive and emotional guitar work. The record is made up of multi-part song suites, much in the style popular in the 70s. Everything besides the song Dogs was written by bassist and conceptualist Roger Waters, who by now was dominating the rest of the band. There are no writing credits at all for keyboardist Richard Wright, who normally contributed quite a lot. And David Gilmour only has one co-writing credit and sings only a handful of verses on one song. But on the other hand, the tour to promote the album featured the usual Pink Floyd special effects and elaborate stage shows, with the addition of a giant inflatable pig that flew over the audience. In 1977, this had to have been pretty cool. (coughs) And now, ladies and gentlemen, and citizens of West Chicago, the Mad Doctor of CDs, Dr. Dr. Austin, Austin Hall. Hall. CD. CD. will now reenact the famous giant inflatable pig flying over a 1977 concert audience. And now I'd like to recreate what happened when the tour was over. Anyways, the Mad Doctor is really only reaching out to you, the citizens of the internet, because I want to raise awareness of the West Chicago Public Library's CD collection. 
We have a variety of CDs in a wide spectrum of genres, from country and jazz, to big band, to classical, to classic rock, to hip-hop and R&B. If you're interested in Animals, The Wall, Obscured by Clouds, or even Pink Floyd the Cow, <clears throat> uh, I mean Adam Hartmother, then give us a call at 630-231-1552 or contact us via our website, wcpld.info that's wcpld.info or send us an email at ask at wcpld.info that's wcpld.info actually it's ask <laughs> oh god Ugh. or send us an email at ASK at WCPLD.info. That's ASK at WCPLD.info. And we'll be happy to give you any CD that you ask for. Just give us a call or uh, give us an email, drop us a line, and we'll be happy to supply you with any CD. Uh, so have a mad day. <laughs>